Well, hello everyone. This is uh, Mr. Talmadge again. I'd like to show you what we did yesterday in class with all of this colored paper. Our final product looked like this. There were nine pieces of paper. We began with this sheet right here as the base sheet, page one. And this comes from the Washington State Department of Natural Resources. And so this shows where the current um, parts of Washington State are from the Columbia Plateau, the Olympic Peninsula, Willapa Hills, Northern Cascade, Okanagan, all the different parts of our state that came together. Then we cut out page three. We cut along this line here and this is the oldest uh, where the oldest part of Washington State is and we taped a hinge up there. Then we cut out uh, the yellow piece of paper we cut along this line right here and this uh, this attached to the original edge of North America so that the coast is now here and we took the blue and we cut along that as well so you can see that the coastline now runs along here and then th this attached to the previous plate edge <clears throat> and then there was a tricky one this golden rod, we cut along a golden rod up there, and now we're about uh, oh, 90 million years ago. You can see where the Pacific Ocean does still come in to present day Washington. Then we cut out this yellow piece right here, and we taped it to the golden rod at the bottom. Then we, tape, we cut out this uh, pink area, and this would be basalt coming up from under the earth to form the Columbia River Plateau. And then we cut out a uh, white piece of paper like this to show the last ice age. So you can see all the different glacial lobes, how far south they come. This one here is the Puget Sound lobe to help to carve out the Puget Sound. And then finally we we cut out the uh, Cascade Range, and you can see the different volcanoes of our state. Um, so that's what we did. That's how we did about, oh, 500 million years or so of geologic time in 30 minutes.